Bobby was a nice guy. Everyone at work liked him. He always volunteered for projects at his church and in the community. He was generally quiet, but always had a friendly smile for everyone. Until one day when he got a call at work. It was from his neighbor, who also lived on the 25th floor of the same building as Bobby. Acme Realtors, this is Bobby. Hi, Bobby, it's me, Joe, from down the hall. Look, man, I normally don't get involved in other people's business, but you're such a nice guy that I had to let you know. I just saw a strange guy show up at your apartment. He had a bottle of wine, and your wife, Sue, let him in. He's been there for about half an hour so far. Yo, are you absolutely sure it was my apartment? Yeah, buddy, 25G. And Sue was wearing her red miniskirt. At that, Bobby hurried home. He got into the building, only to discover that the elevators were out. So he had to run up 25 flights of stairs to get to his floor. That was extremely hard for Bobby, as he was overweight and out of shape. But he managed to finally get there. He unlocked his door, rushed in, and saw Sue standing naked with a towel around her. Out of breath, he asked her, <sighs> Okay, Sue, where is he? Who? The guy who's up here. You're crazy, said Sue as she went to get changed. Meanwhile, Bob looked everywhere in the apartment, in the shower, all the closets, under the bed, yet he saw no one. He stood at the window to catch his breath, when suddenly he caught sight of a man in his underwear, trying to put on his pants on the sidewalk 25 floors below him. Bobby lost it. He flung the window wide open. He unplugged his refrigerator and pushed it toward the window. He managed to balance it on the ledge. He waited until just the right moment and then released. The fridge fell 25 floors and landed squarely on the man who was putting on his pants. Of course, the man was immediately killed. Sue saw what happened and started crying. Oh my God, you killed him. I loved him so much. <laughs> that proves that you were cheating on me. Bobby was driven insane with jealousy. He grabbed a kitchen knife and quickly put an end to Sue's life. <laughs> Immediately afterwards, seeing Sue's lifeless body on the carpet, the stress of running up 25 flights of stairs, moving a heavy refrigerator, murdering a man, and then his wife, finally caught up to him. He suffered a massive heart attack and was dead within minutes. The next day in heaven. Attention please. Hello, this is St. Peter. Calling Robert Harper. Is there a Robert Harper here? Bobby raised his hand and walked up meekly. I'm Robert Harper, sir. My friends call me Bobby. Well, Bobby, tell me exactly how you died. Although Bobby wanted to lie, he realized that in heaven it's impossible to lie to St. Peter. Well, I went to my apartment because a friend told me that my wife was cheating on me. I couldn't find him in the apartment, but I saw him on the sidewalk 25 floors beneath us. I pushed the fridge to the window and dropped it on the man. Then I killed my wife in anger. The next thing I knew I had a massive heart attack and found myself here. Murdered two people, eh? Bad show, old boy. Well, I'm afraid it's off to hell with you. Bobby was in shock as two angels escorted him away. Okay, attention. Susan Harper, please step forward. Sue dragged herself forward, her lower lip quivering in fear. And how exactly did you die? My husband came home in a rage and stabbed me to death. But were you, in fact, cheating on him? Yes, sir, I was. Oh, my. Well, you can spend an eternity in hell with your husband Bobby, and maybe someday he'll forgive you. Sue was escorted away. Attention. Now would Mr. George Baker please step forward. I'm George Baker. Would you explain to me exactly how you passed away? Yesterday, my alarm clock didn't go off, so I got up an hour late. I had just gotten this great new job, and I didn't want to be late for work. So as I ran to catch the bus, I was still getting dressed. I was trying to put my pants on, and at the last second, I saw a big white thing falling from the sky. It hit me. That's the last thing I remember. Well, my good man, you met your demise by an unfortunate accident. But you will be happy to know that you shall reside in heaven from now on. Congratulations. Angels escorted away the happy Mr. Baker. Attention, please. I'm looking for Tyro Washington. Would Mr. Washington please come forward? Yes, sir. I'm Tyrone Washington. Well, Mr. Washington, what were the circumstances involving your death? Well, you see, man, yesterday afternoon I was just minding my own business, sitting inside this here refrigerator. <laughs>